Well, welcome to our first low intensity workouts. I am Caitlin. It looks like a bunch of you are jumping on now. It's really great to see you. So low intensity, that does not mean easy. So <laughs> we're definitely going to be challenging. Um, even if you used to come to the Exos workout of the day at the same time, this is still going to be a challenging workout. I'm just going to show more of the modifications and then let you amp it up as needed um, instead of the other way where um, we try to do our harder version and then show modifications um, as options. So this class is progressive in nature. So keep coming back each week, every Wednesday at 1120 or watching the video after the fact. Um, so it's going to get more challenging each week. I'll be progressing the time or the exercises. And then we also have three main goals of the class. So this class is designed to help you feel better. So you should feel better um, when you leave than when you showed up. You should also be challenging your cardiovascular and muscular endurance. And then also um, you're focusing on your form and your mus muscular engagement. So really focusing on the muscles we're trying to work. Okay, enough talking. We're gonna jump right into our pillar prep to start. Um, like I said at the beginning, if you have a light to medium set of dumbbells, grab that. If you don't have any dumbbells around, that's totally fine. We will do without for today. So our first one is going to be a reverse scorpion. So on the ground, laying on your back, take your right leg, drop it in the air, put it in the air, drop it across your body. Take a couple deep breaths and switch over to the other side. So trying to stack your hips, keep both shoulders on the ground. Get a really nice spinal twist. We're gonna do five each side. Moving at a kind of a medium pace. Good, getting all the kinks out of your low back. Some movement through your spine. Good, we'll do two more each side. Perfect, last one. And good. Next one, we are going to engage our lats. So we're going into a lat pull. We're actually gonna be on our stomach, pulling in and down. So pulling in strong and down. If you want to lift your legs off the ground, engage your glutes. So we'll go for five reps. Take it strong, pull, and back down. It's a really good one to engage your lats. Keep your neck in alignment with your spine and relaxed here. Good. Two more reps. And perfect. Really nice. We are moving into um, our quadruped rocking next. So we're going to be on one knee. I'm going to take my right foot, put it out to the side, sit back in my heel, and then come forward. So sitting back, coming forward, getting a really nice stretch, inner thigh, those adductor muscles. Good. Do one more rep here, and then we'll switch over to the other side. Perfect. Good. Switching over to the other side. Left leg out. Sitting in that heel. Come forward. Nice. And if it feels too tight to sit all the way back, that's just fine. Just go until you feel a little pull, but nothing painful. Good. One more rep. And good. We're going to go into all fours next going into a bird dog. So we're gonna take our left hand off the ground, right leg off the ground, come in, knee and elbow touch, and then extend. So you're doing five on one side and five on the other. You're rounding those shoulders, coming in and out. Engaging your core and also engaging your glutes. Five on one side, and then moving right to five on the other. Good, if you've been sitting most of the morning, this should feel pretty good to just get up and moving. Good, 
Perfect. Let you guys finish out those reps. Next, we're gonna be moving to a challenging one. This is our last pillar prep exercise. Then we're gonna be moving into our movement prep. So <laughs> this one is going to be a quad stretch. So you're gonna grab right at your ankle, stretch here, and then that same leg is going to come back into a single leg RDL, okay? So quad stretch, single leg RDL, working on your balance. And that's something I always need to work on as well. <laughs> so you slightly bend your right leg, kick that left leg back, make sure your back stays flat. Really focusing on each rep here, holding onto the wall if you need to. Good, once you've done five, you're switching over to the other side. Really nice. When you're doing that quad stretch, you can push your hip forward to make it a little bit more intense. Good, finish out these reps, we're almost there. And good. <laughs> nice job, you guys. Okay, so we are moving into our movement prep. This is the section where we're gonna try to get your heart rate up a little bit, the start of our actual workout. Um, we're gonna be starting with an inverted hamstring hold, which is actually the exact same exercise we just did with that RDL, but we are holding in this position for 20 seconds. Main thing, hips are pointed towards the ground. You're not letting yourself open up to the side. You're staying right down Point to the ground, neck is in alignment with your spine. Okay, we're gonna start there. 20 seconds each side, 10 seconds in between. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. We're gonna only go through this section one time, these exercises. So you're really focusing on your form. If balance is a challenge, like it is for me, you can always have your hand against the wall. Nice, there's three, two, one. Shake it off and we're gonna be switching to our other side, the other leg on the ground. Getting ready, three, two, and one. Here we go. Nice job, you guys. Finishing strong, <laughs> you can do it. There's three. Two and one. Really nice. Okay, next we are going to go into a pillar bridge. So holding strong in a plank position, we're just going to drop through our shoulders and press back up. So a little tiny movement, really focusing on engaging your core. Okay, here we go. Three, two, and one. We are on. Pillar bridge, nice and flat, drop through those shoulders, press back up. If you need to modify further, just put your knees on the ground and focus on engaging your core. Yeah, guys, three, two, and one. Woo! Really nice. We are going into a knee hug to a reverse lunge. So we're gonna knee hug, and then same leg, it's gonna step back, reverse lunge, arms are over your head. Then you switch sides, knee hug, reverse lunge. Okay, last one in our movement prep. Here we go, three, two, and one. We're on, so knee hug, and then reverse lunge. Make sure you're keeping your weight in that front heel, you're not letting yourself move into your toes. Good. Awesome. And perfect. Grab a quick drink. We are going to move in our, into our first circuit. Okay, so today we are going to be doing two circuits and then a little uh, fun butts and guts section at the end to our glutes and core. So our first circuit's gonna be 20 seconds on, 
20 seconds off. We're gonna go through two rounds of four different exercises. So I'll explain the exercises as we go um, because we have that full 20 seconds rest. So I'll just explain that first exercise now. You're gonna be starting with a push up. So on your knees, or you can always amp it up and go to your toes. You're gonna to go down to the ground, push up. Focus on that form, core engagement, and making sure that your hips are not dropping towards the ground. Okay, team. Ready to work? <laughs> we got this. Starting with those push ups in three, two, one, modify is needed. You can always move up higher too, to move up to a couch or a chair and do your push-ups there as well. Good, you guys are on right here. Nice and strong. There's three, two, and one. Good, we get 20 seconds rest. We are going to a cross crunch, so it's gonna be on our back next. Laying nice and flat, we're coming up and across and down, up and across and down to modify. Just bring that shoulder off the ground. You don't have to sit all the way up. Okay, ready? We're on 20. So you can take these nice and slow, especially on the way down. Slow, slow, slow. Engage your core. Yeah, team. And good, relax. Okay, next one, we are going into a hamstring walkout. Your hips are gonna be lifted in the air. You're gonna do little steps, walking out, little steps, walking back up. Glutes stay engaged, you're gonna feel it in the back of your legs, your hamstrings. Ready, we're on. Walk out, little tiny steps. About eight steps out, eight steps back in. Keep your hips lifted off the ground. Yeah, really, really nice. Good, a little longer here. Here's three, two, and one. Awesome. We are going to go into a cross crunch standing. So standing up, we're gonna take one arm, one leg, going across like this really fast. You can always bring your chest in to your knee to actually add in your obliques and give you a good core workout as well. This is our cardio exercise, so make it quick. Ready, three, two, one, stay on one side for this first 20 seconds. Yeah, you can crunch in, like I said before, or you can always take it slower if you need to modify. Yeah, three, two, one. Woo! Nice job. Rest. We're gonna be switching over to that other side. So here, across. Really nice job. Getting ready. Three, two, and one. Good, make this quick. Good, get your core engaged by adding that little crunch towards your knee. Yeah, three, two, one. Woo! Little extra breather, grab a drink. We're going through that one more round before we move on. Starting back with our push ups. I forgot to mention, since we can't play music over Zoom, you have full access. As long as you stay muted, play your own playlist on your computer or on your phone. Keep yourself amped up and keep pushing, working really hard. Okay, we're gonna start back with our push-ups. We're gonna start pretty quick. Ready, three, two, one, here we go. Power. Pushing the ground away from you right here. Is there a last time through each one of these exercises? Make them great. Make each one deliberate. Three, two, one. Yeah, nice. 
nice. Flipping over, we're going into our cross crunch. And for those of you who have been coming to Exos Workout all day, and you want to amp it up, feel free, make things explosive. And good. Right into that cross crunch, normal speed up, nice and slow, and engaged on the way down. This is one of my favorite exercises. I really think it's a great way to engage your core. And good. We're gonna go into those hamstring walkouts next. So for these, you want your hips lifted, but not so high that you're pinching your back. So just enough where your glutes and hamstrings are engaged. Okay, here we go. And walk. Good, slowly walking out, coming back in. Do not let those hips drop down. As you walk your feet out, and walk back up. Yeah, guys. Challenge yourself to see if you walk out further. We'll do one more rep. And good, really nice job. We are going into our cross crunches standing. Getting ready, three, two, one, here we go. Nice job, guys, speed it up. If you want this one to be harder, grab a medium weight. Put it in your hand, just one dumbbell. Make it quick. And good, relax. 20 second breather. We'll go to our other side. Last time here. There's three, two, and one, we're on. I always think this exercise sneaks up on you. Doesn't look hard once you try it. Definitely gets your heart rate up. Yeah, guys, there's three, two, and one, Woo. awesome, awesome. Grab a drink, walk it off, do not sit down here. Really nice job. Good, we're gonna get a full minute long breather here. If you are just getting back into working out, for the new year, and this is really challenging for you, that's great. Take breaks as needed. Listen to your body. If you've been here all of this year and all of last year, you can always amp it up. Modify the exercises and challenge yourself. Okay, I'm gonna show you our first exercise of our circuit two. We're gonna be going into inchworms. So standing at the edge of your mat, you're going to keep your legs as straight as you can, put your hands on the ground, walk out, and then walk back up. So that is the normal exercise. If we want to, you, if you want to amp it up a bit, you can always add in a knee push-up at the bottom or a full push-up. You decide and walk back up. Okay. Let's get rolling. Like I said, I will explain the other exercises as we go. Inchworms. In three, two, one here, reaching up. Keep those legs straight as you walk out into that plank, engage your core, and then walk back up. You decide if you want to add in your knee push up or push up on your toes at the bottom. Good. Finishing out this last rep here. And good, really nice. We are going into a squat with a punch. We haven't done these in a while, but if you, would, if you have a light set of weights and you wanna use them here, great. If you wanna just use your hands, that works as well. So you're gonna squat down, turn, and punch up to the side. Squat and punch. 
Don't use a really heavy set of weights, probably less than 10 pounds for almost everyone. <laughs> okay, here we go. Three, two, one. We are on squat down, turn punch. Make sure you add in that twist so you can get some really good power behind your punch. Sit in those heels, stand up, power. Yeah, guys. And good. Relax. Next one. A nice challenging one. We're going to go halfway around the world. We'll take our right leg. We're going to step forward in a forward lunge. Then we're going to step out to the side. Lateral lunge. And then step back. Reverse lunge. So forward, lateral, reverse. Stay on that same side. Next, we'll switch over to the other side. Okay. Three. Two and one. We are on. So forward lunge, lateral lunge, reverse lunge. Good. And go back to your forward, lateral, reverse. Yeah. Last couple reps here. And good. Okay. So we'll switch over to our left side next. Forward, lateral, reverse. On that lateral, make sure you're staying back in that heel. You're not letting yourself go into your toe. Okay. Getting ready. Three, two, one. Forward. Lateral. And reverse. Take it as quickly or slowly as you need. Focusing on your form, your stability and your mobility. <laughs> okay, good. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Nice job, you guys. We are going to be going into Romanian deadlifts next. So if you do have a set of dumbbells, grab those. If you do not, main, we're just gonna focus on the movement. So if you're going to hinge your hips back, your hands are coming down halfway down your shins, and you're coming back up. So even if you don't have weights, you should really be able to feel this in your hamstrings. If you have weights, you're going to feel even a little bit more. Okay, here we go. Ready? Three, two, and one. We're on. So weights come halfway down your shins. Back up. Back stays flat. And weights stay close. Nice job, you guys. You should feel it behind your legs and your hamstrings. Last rep. And good. Okay, so those are our exercises for round two. If those were new for, those are all new exercises for you, keep focusing, don't add any weight. If you know all those, you're ready to add some weight, feel free to add weight to your halfway around the world lunges by doing a goblet or weights on your shoulders. And then you can always choose the heavier weight for the Romanian deadlifts. Okay. We are starting in again, inchworms. Adding that push up at the bottom, like a challenge. Three, two, one. We are on, walking out. Push up and walk back up. Yeah, guys. Even adding a knee push up on one rep, pushing yourself a little bit more than you did yesterday. And good. We are going to our squat with our punch. You want to add in weights this time? Go for it, okay? Nice and strong punch. In three, two, one, squat down, punch. Squat down, punch to the side. Yeah. Get some power behind it. Here we go. Nice, guys. Last few seconds here. Get one more punch each side. And good. Woo! Really nice. We're going to our halfway around the world lunges, starting with our right leg. Forward, lateral, reverse. Ready? Three. Two and one. 
forward, lateral, sit in that heel, and reverse. Yeah, really nice. One more each, focusing on your form and quality reps. And good, shake it out. Good, we'll switch over to our left side. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, good. Forward, lateral, and reverse. Good, if one of these lunges doesn't feel the best in your knees, you're not sure if you're doing it right, you can always just choose the ones that you want. Or if you only like reverse lunges, stick with that, that's fine. Do what feels best for you and what challenges you. Yeah, good, perfect. We're going into our Romanian deadlifts. Grabbing those weights if you have them. Back is flat, hips are back. Ready, and we're on. Good. Just a slight bend in those knees. Hips come back, not a squat. Yeah, guys. Focusing on your glutes and hamstrings. Three, two, and one. Woo! Nice job. Done with circuit number two. Really well done. Grab a drink and towel lock here. Okay. While you are grabbing a drink, I'm going to quickly explain the next exercises. So we are going to into a little butts and guts section. So focusing on glutes and core. So our first one is going to be glute bridge marching. So we'll be on our back, hips in the air, and your knees are going to come up. Your hips are going to stay in the air. Do not let yourself drop down when you lift that knee. So it can be just a little knee lifts. It doesn't have to be a huge um, big kick in the air. <laughs> then we are going to go into a pillar bridge with a hip twist. So we'll be in that pillar bridge position nice and flat. We're just going to rotate at our hips. If you want it to be more challenging, you can do a bigger twist side to side. If you want it to be a little less challenging, just do a little twist. If you're starting to get pretty tired, just hold that pillar bridge and don't worry about twisting. <laughs> okay, then we're going to go into sliders. So on our back, it's a nice core exercise. You're going to lift your shoulders off the ground, engage your uh, core, and then come back down. So fingertips, touch your kneecaps, and back down. Take it nice and slow and controlled, especially on the way down. And then we have one more exercise that we'll do each side. Um, <laughs> there's two different options. You can have your knee bent underneath, going up into the Jane Fonda, <laughs> or, um, if you want it to be a little bit more of a challenging exercise, you can press up and drop back down. You're going to actually really feel it in your gluteus minimus and your hip here, if you try this one. This one is good as well though. You'll feel that too. Okay, we're gonna start with our glute bridge marching. We're gonna get through this round two times. We might go a little long today, but It'll be just a couple minutes. Okay, here we go. Glute bridge marching in three, two, and one. We are on hips in the air and march. Good. So make sure there's no pinch in your spine. Your glutes are as, as what is holding you up there. Really nice and good. We are going to go into our pillar bridge with that hip twist. Ready, in three, two, and one, good. We have a little bit less 
of a break in between each one of these exercises. Just 15 seconds off to really challenge your core. Yeah, nice. 10 seconds to go. Just a little movement side to side. Hit those obliques. Three, two, one. Good. We're going into our sliders next. On your back. Control. Sliding up those kneecaps and down. Okay, three, two, one. We're on. Really nice job, you guys. If you can't get all the way up to your kneecaps, that's just fine. Take it smaller and really engage your core. In three, two, one. Nice. Okay, moving on to the Jane Fonda. So here, or you can press those hips in the air. Make it a little harder. Okay, three, two, one. So we're on. Good, you're either hitting the outside of your leg, your adductors, or you're here pressing up and down. You can try out a couple reps of these, make it a lot more challenging. And good, we're gonna switch sides. Okay, three, two, and one, we're on. Nice job, you guys. These are a lot harder than they look. You guys are doing great. You can always modify and go down to our normal exercise. The Jane Bonda in three, two, and one. Good. Relax for a few seconds. We're going to go through those one more time just because I want to get through everything today. Okay. <laughs> We're going to start. Going into our glute bridge marching, I'll give you about 15 seconds more rest. Okay. Ready, three, two, and one. Good, hips in the air. Drive that knee up and keep your glutes engaged, core engaged here. Really nice. Last few seconds and good. We're gonna be flipping over into that pillar bridge with a hip twist. If you start losing your form, just go down to your knees, in your normal uh, pillar bridge position and hold. Okay, here we go. Adding that little twist in your hips. Yeah, guys, there's three, two, one. Good, flipping over on your back, going into slider is next. Last three exercises of the day before we do some stretches. Ready, three, two, one, we're on. Sliding up, control it on the way down. Getting a strong core is all about engagement and really focusing on using your abs, not letting it, the tension go into your neck or into your spine. Perfect. Or hip flexors on different exercises. Okay, Jane Fonda in three, two, one. Here we go. Good. Or you can always amp it up this time. Let your hip drop and then come back up. Really nice. Here's three, two, and one. Good. Flipping over our last one of the day. Okay, three, two, one. We are on. Good, modify as needed. If you need to take it down a notch, that's totally fine. 
You got it. Finish out these last 10 seconds. Best form. Three, two, and one. Awesome, awesome job, you guys. Grab a quick drink if it's close. We're gonna go into just a few stretches since we're already seated on the ground. We're gonna stay here. You can cross your legs, sit up nice and straight. Um, you're gonna put your left arm on the ground, right arm over the top, then pull back. So you want to feel a really nice stretch through your chest, your shoulder, and you might even feel it into your hip as well. Good, moving over to the other side. So take your time going back and forth, probably around five reps each side. Catching your breath. You guys did so well today. I really appreciate you coming. Wonderful way to start out 2021. And like I said, this class is progressive. So keep coming back. Good, we're going to go into an adductor stretch next with those lateral lunges that we did. We're gonna to wanna to stretch those out. So you can stand up if you'd like. And we're gonna to go to the side, trying to feel a nice stretch through your adductors, which is your inner thigh. And then going over the other side, back and forth. If you're able to go lower and you wanna stay nice and low, side to side, that works as well. Just listen to your body, whatever feels better for you. Main thing is you're sitting back in your heel. Good, we'll do one more. I'm gonna have one last stretch today. We're gonna go into a child's pose position. So knees are wide, feet are close together. You're gonna sit back in your hips, press your palms into the ground. Head is on the ground. Walk your fingertips out as far as you can to feel a really nice stretch through your lats, which are your back muscles. And then you're going to come forward, bring your knees closer together, and do either a baby cobra or a full cobra. Main thing, shoulders are down, not up by your ears. If that's too intense, stay nice and low. And just try to feel some stretching through your back. Good, we'll go back into child's pose one more time. And back into cobra. Good, finishing in child's pose. And great. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. Um, as always, I'm Caitlin, and we are going to be opening up 701 Fitness next Monday. Um, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. You just need to register. We are going to keep continuing to do these virtual classes for the foreseeable future. So keep coming back. And we have express abs today um, in about three minutes. So see you then.